Hello everybody, I'm Bunky. Welcome to Bunky's Workshop and look what I have here. Yes, it is a box. We've all seen them, we've all had them before, but you don't know what's inside. And to be honest, I think I know what's inside this, but I'm not 100% sure. I have purchased two items on eBay and uh, one was delivered yesterday and the other one was delivered today. And um, I think I know this is the one that I've really, really, really wanted but we're gonna find out when I open the box. Now, I know a lot of you out there have one of these or multiple of these. Um, I've always wanted one, and I, for some reason, just never did it till now. Uh, the timing was right, the price was right, and I did it. So, let's crack this sucker open and see what we got. And I do know I asked the seller, please, 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 please pack it, pack it well. So I'm hoping and praying that nothing is broken. Well, we got a packet of bolt, nuts, bolts, and screws. I'm going to put this on the floor and uh, bring up parts as we can. a little hint you see a blue handle it's two pieces with the wire are you getting excited <laughs> anyways I don't see much of protection for the wheels in this box so hope and pray that it was treated gently in shipping nothing happened um you know how these things when they drop and throw things around and the first thing to break is a wheel so it's in blue well look hello What do you think? What do you think? Now it's got some scratches on the top and the bumper needs a little bit of help. See how the bumper kind of sticks out a little bit? What do you think? Huh? <laughs> oh, it has definitely has that old time smell. Looks like the wheels survived. Well, this one has a little chip in it. And the brush roll, as you can see, it has some rust, but we can fix that. It looks like it has a belt on it. I can kind of feel the belt moving. Well, the belt is not 100%. We do have a little bit of rust, but we can take care of that. But 
there you go. Okay. Ow. Ooh, a little heavy. Front is still intact. A little yellow, but it's there. Low. Well, let's see if we can check out this bag. It's got a bag in it. This bag is really dirty. So it's got a paper bag in it with a little bit of dirt. But we can, we can take this all apart and wash it and uh, take care of that zipper, it's a bit tight. So let's see what we got as, as in the handle. So we got a little bit of a, if you can see that, a little bit of a, a burn mark or a scrape mark there. And as you can see, that's a bit, the rubber has split. Definitely looks original. It's still pliable. Okay. So. Huh. It looks like I am missing It does look like I am missing a screw. Which is sad. Oh, no, nope, there it is. It rolled away. Ah!
Now at one point, I was helping a lady out in her home one time and she had one of these and I, and I just could not stop vacuuming. The sound of it and the fun of it, she thought I was weird, but I was like, you know, It's just fun. And I told her, I said, you ever move away or anything happens or you die, you put this in your will because I want it. And well, I moved away and she moved away and well, and I'm not gonna tighten this all the way up, just hand tighten. Okay, well people, now, I'm sure there is a suppressor in here. And you know what happens when they get old and nasty and cranky, they explode on your butt. But I wanna try her out anyways and hope and pray that it's gonna be okay. I do need to remove the suppressor, I'm sure. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have never did it. I've always left them alone. Um, what I'm gonna to try to do is one of my friends, Dorian, on Hoover Lux, go check his channel out uh, on YouTube, of course, right here, um, Hoover Lux. He does these things from beginning to end. I mean, he takes them from where they're looking like something you'd find in the bin and brings them back to looking brand new, and it's just amazing. Um, I'm going to have to watch one of his videos and uh, see how you do it. He makes it look easy. I'm sure I can do it. If not, hey, they'll bury me. I'll be electrocuted. So give me a second and I'm gonna uh, move you over to the other side of the room and we're gonna fire this thing up. Back in a minute. Okay, here we are. Let's uh, fire this baby up and hopefully it doesn't explode on us. Nothing. So, why doesn't it work? Well, as you can see, I plugged it in and I tried turning it on and nothing, not a sound, nothing. Um, it is put together, I double checked everything uh, I'm not getting anything out of it. So before I move forward, I sent a message to my uh, eBay uh, seller to let him know that I did receive it. It was on time, uh, but it's not running. I looked at the listing and it said that it has the scratches and that it would probably need a new bag and a new belt. Um, but it doesn't say anything um, that it's not, that it, it didn't say anything about uh, in not working order. So um, I'm going to wait back to see what he says and go from there. Okay, so as I find out more, I will continue this video. Talk to you soon.
will all be darned. It looks like the suppressor has already been removed. Now it's too bad the light bulb didn't work. I don't think it did. So as you saw, um, I got it out of the box, put it all together, and it did not work. So I'm going to give you a heads up what I've been doing so far is I just started from the plug and worked my way and found that when the individual took the handle apart to pack it away for shipping, the wire pulled and disconnected from the on-off switch. So I had to reconnect the on-off switch and it fired right up. So I didn't get that on camera, I'm sorry. But I got bored one night and just it bothered me that it was not running. And the seller promised me it was running when he shipped it. So I just want to see if it still had its suppressor and I can see it was here, but uh, it's gone. So he must have removed the suppressor. So, wow, okay. That is good news. And as you can see, the hood is in very good condition. It could do for a polish, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that right now. I'm going to put it back together. Um, when I got it running, I noticed the belt was very loose. So I'm gonna put another belt on it. And uh, I cannot find a new headlight down in my shop, so I will go online and see if I can order one. Okay, so that's back on. definitely don't want to tighten this down too far. You don't want to crack that plastic. This plastic is very fragile. I think we're all the way down. I don't think I hit the hole. Looks like we got it to bite. Holy Lord, help me. And we are not going to crank down on that. Okay. So let's see if we can get ourselves this uh, belt very worn. All right, there we go. So let's take that one off. Let's make sure I got somewhat, yes, okay. 
Also, I noticed this does have some rust and stuff on it, but I can clean that up on the bench when I go to do a little bit better job. I just want to get it running the way I like it and then take it from there. Yeah, that belt had seen better days. That's okay. They are replaceable. All right. Put my tools away. Well, that is push them away. As you can see, on this bag, it's got something on it. Don't know what it is, but uh, we're gonna have to just clean it up some, that's all. One thing at a time. All right, give me a second, and uh, I'm gonna plug her in. it in after I fixed the switch the headlight was not working so maybe it just wasn't in all the way so okay so I have some rice let's sprinkle it down and let's see how this old girl does I love the sound of these old machines vibrating but yes of course it did the line a shame but that's as expected but it's doing a very good job let's vacuum up this mess
Listen to that wind down. That's pretty smooth. That's not bad at all. Let me get you back up on the tripod. Well, boys and girls, uh, I have been looking and waiting for one of these for a long time. Um, every time I see one, I think it's too pricey or, you know, it's got something wrong. Now, there's something definitely going on with the bag. Something is sticking to it. Um, I don't know. Uh... These vinyl or plastic outer bags, I've seen on like Hoover Lux and um, uh, Becco and so forth, how they wash these. I'm gonna have to watch those videos again because I know you have to be careful um, with the lettering and decals and so forth. But it definitely needs a good clean. Um, this did, I believe, come from a collector. Um, the suppressor, as I said, is gone. It's a new headlight in there. Um, there is a little bit of rust on the plate and on the brush or the beater bar, if you will. Um, but that's all cleanable. That's doable. Other than that, it's in very good condition. The original wire. Um, I'm very happy with this. Um, I'm just going to have to give it some love and, and some attention and uh, go from there. There we go. Anyways, I think she's beautiful. Um, just the sound of these old motors and the brush roll with the carpet and the whole nine yards, it's just, it's music to my ears. I just love these older ones. I really do. Um, the decal is in excellent condition. There's really no chips or breaks or anything. The only thing I notice is in the headlight, there's like a little tiny hairline crack in the headlight, but you can only see it really when the headlight's on. So it's an excellent, the bumper, it's all nice. On the hood here, it's some, there's some very faint scratching, like it went under furniture, but I think um, I can buff this all out. We shall see. As they say, one thing at a time, one day at a time, let me give it a little spritz just to see what happens. Yeah, I really think uh, if I get my buffing wheel out and I really give this a good shine, I think it's going to come right out. I think it is actually go right into my collection and just look amazing. because there's really nothing wrong with this at all. The paint is in excellent condition. I felt like a kid on Christmas. It's just beautiful. I love the color. Yep, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And just that little bit, look at the, uh, the shine. Not a big deal. Anyways, thanks for coming along. Um, I'm glad this all worked out the way it did. As you can see in the very beginning, again, I unboxed it, put together. It would not fire up no matter what I did. 
um, after contacting the seller. He had told me um, that it was up and running. He promised um, to please check it over. And of course, up in the switch, when they took the handle apart, it pulled the wire and disconnected from the switch. I reconnected the two wires, it fired right up, and I was tickled like a kid in a candy store. And uh, so I have a new belt on it. I am going to do a regular uh, restoration on here. I'm going to buff it and clean it and get the rust off the brush or the beater bar and the, the base plate and go from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I greatly appreciate you all coming along. If you get a chance, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you really like my channel and what I'm bringing forward, maybe give it a thumbs up. That'll be awesome. And don't forget to ring that bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you'll be notified, okay? Again, thanks for coming along. Be talking to you soon, and have a great day.